Hello, it's Nick from Rational Gamers, and I used to play Tomb Raider. These graphics look like arse. <laughs> but it does bring back a lot of memories. I had a little bit of a playthrough while I was home just to fam familiarize myself again with the uh, uh, controls because you can't use a controller with this unless you want to map it. So we'll just jump into the main game. And I can't be asked to map a controller, so. Los Alamos, New Mexico. And snakes. Now a nuclear explosion for no reason. <laughs> Unearthed from the long buried time it spent underground by a nuclear explosion. The Atlanteans rise once more to take this world. Dun dun dun. How oh, was it? I can't even read that. Imperial Hotel Calcutta. Now I was imprisoned, wasn't she? Hmm, I'm sure. God, look at those cinematic graphics. So, so bad. Blocky polygons and... <laughs> graphics have come a long, long, long way. Massive amounts of danger. I'll get my bags. To be fair, that thing that was got on does absolutely nothing to protect against the cold. And even, <laughs> and even, and even the, uh, the video clips, whatever you want to call them, look like ass. A resolution letterbox resolution that just—I I just don't know. <laughs> Whatever could be in there, I wonder. Glowing eyes? Oh no! I always used to think, she's had got a knife there, yeah, but you never actually get to use the knife in the game. Is it graphic limitations or no hardware? I don't know. Yeah, he's surely dead after several seconds of being attacked by dogs. I don't think he is. I think she's just, you know, crazy. Hmm. And here we are. Oh, this brings back some memories. <laughs> Especially when you turn around like that and it... The camera goes a bit nuts. Yep, nutty. <laughs> okay, pistols. Yep. Walk. Look. Okay, I think we're good. Welcome to Tomb Raider 1. Graphics haven't exactly aged well. <laughs> oh, yeah. And they're not exactly hard to avoid. I always thought it was weird because on all the... Uh, cutscenes, Lara's got a long, like, plat, like, uh, yes, I know I've got to go up there, Lars. Okay, that was weird. Um, 
like you would expect, like she always has. Actually, I think there's something down here. I think there's a secret. But in game, she's got um, this whole tied up kind of hair thing, which I I don't even know what that's supposed to be. I think it's supposed to have the rest of a po uh, the ponytail plait down there, but I don't think the uh, they were able to implement that in this game. Yeah, there's a secret here. What you gotta do? Slide, jump, and hold. And as a kid, I yeah, there's the sound. I remember not being able to do that for love nor money because I was apparently crap at video games back then. I must have played through this level. No, not this level actually. Um, it's the next level in a demo. Uh, I must have played through that about I don't know a dozen times because uh, for some reason we just didn't have the hello bats. I don't think we could afford the actual full game. <laughs> I was poor when I was young. <laughs> I think there's another secret down here as well, but this one you have to be pretty sneaky about. You have to go right up in the corner and yep, that's it. Oh, it's all coming back to me now. How do you roll? How do you roll? Ah, I can't remember how you roll. Oh, why not? Die, you bitch. I always liked how when you fire, Lara kind of, oh, you can't see it. Turn around, Lars. Uh, no! <laughs> there we go. Yeah. <laughs> when she fires a gun, she's like, ah! Hi. Ah! Okay, I'm fine. Ah! Okay, that's enough of that. Oh, shit. <laughs> there we go. Ah, oh, damn. I used to be able to roll off and grab straight away. I used to be really kind of good at these controls. Which is really saying something considering they're on the uh, keyboard. I'm basically <laughs> using control, alt and the arrow keys. That's that's a stupid setup for a game. <laughs> you know, it works. It's functional. Uh, we look around. Surprising how much it comes back to you. From. Oh, it's going to be. It's like two decades. This game is about almost 20 years old. Why is that all black? It's supposed to be a shadow, but I think the uh, graphics are just glitched out a little bit. Which is unsurprising, seeing as uh, this game is actually running through DOSBox. <laughs> this isn't some uh, one a game I've downloaded to emulate. This is the Steam version. The Steam version runs through DOSBox. I'm not sure about the good old games version. No, I can't do it. Um, no, it's still glitching out. But... Yeah, this game is so old that it probably can't... Oh, I remember this. You can actually do some it's sneaky. Look through the door. I used to be able to do it much, much better than that. After uh, damn it, I can't do it. I haven't got I haven't got the knack anymore. Ah, there you go. Hey, hey! That's how you do it. <laughs> I'm doing that. Drawing pistols every time you went anywhere. I think this is probably the only game where I actually remember where most of the secrets are. Which is surprising. So I'm not really much a secret orientated kind of person. As you... <laughs> oh, wait, am I going? Is this the right... Is that actually the right way? This is the right way. Oh no, this is because there was a door over the other side, wasn't there? Oh, uh, shit. You can't crawl on this one. I don't think you can crawl until, like, Tomb Raider 3? Eh. Ah, oh, damn, nearly. Yeah, there's a door that you can't get through. And you actually come to that later. Damn it. Actually, I'm going to really show off now how much I remember. 
Yes! I can still do it. I still know the keyboard commands. I thought it was ridiculously, like, she was ridiculously flexible because when she lifts up like that, she puts her feet down exactly where her hands are. <laughs> Uh, if I remember rightly, there's wolves down there. Yeah, hello, woof woof. So you want to just sit here and pot shot them for a while. Uh, yeah. Right, you watch me fall down now. No! Yay! Why cross the bridge when you can jump? There's a bear somewhere around there. But you fall down a hole and you get eaten by a bear. Actually, if you go down there, I'm pretty sure there is actually a secret down here. But I was always too terrified <laughs> to do so. But I think there's only actually two wolves down there. So, yeah, fuck okay. it. These things freak me out. Yep. Oh no, I've been wrapped up. To be fair, I was only like, I don't know, seven years old when this came out. I I don't, yeah. Seven years old when it came out and probably didn't actually play until I was about uh, eight or nine. No, nah, no secrets, just, just a couple of wolves which aren't actually remotely dangerous in any way shape or form why why is this is so difficult for me so yes Tomb Raider it's just lots of running and not doing all that much until a bit later so why are we here ah this is a bit with the bear uh, down here I think uh, maybe? Uh, I'm not... Yeah, there he is. Hello, bear. Why are we here? Well, we are looking for an artifact called the Skion for Jacqueline and Natala, who, it turns out, is actually an Atlantean. One of the three remaining Atlanteans on... Uh, along with... Well, she's the only surviving Atlantean, I think. But she was part of a council of three or something. I think. Oh shit! Okay, that that made me jump, just like it did in the old days. <laughs> yeah, die, bitch. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Natla, uh, health, Qualapec, and Tiokan, I think it is. And they, no, and there's another one. I can't remember his name. Uh, basically, they had no, yeah, there was, there was three. Basically, they all had a piece of this artifact called the Skion, which is basically all-purpose plot MacGuffin. It can create, destroy, and in the end of the game, Natla ends up creating. Yes, I know, and I think this is timed. I hate timed puzzles; they suck ass. Natla ends up creating half a mutant thing that you have to fight. Uh, yep, there we go. Uh, like the half thing that drags itself around the platform with its bare arms. And that's actually really, really cool. Uh, that, that lead, if I remember rightly, it leads to a spiky death. That's why they scared me, because the bloody... No, I think you're supposed to go down there. Because the bloody wolves were obsessed with just jumping out of nowhere. Gah! Right, where the bloody hell are we going? The, I think there's a lever around there somewhere. Yeah, anyway, uh... She ends up creating like a race of Atlanteans, like the, uh, the things that uh, are really fast and they just kind of run around and 
The interesting thing is, earlier in the game you encounter mummies, and the mummies kind of move in the same way. Uh, and to start with, they're just like white, wrapped up in white bandages. But then they start to get these like red tubes over them. And it's kind of like they slowly morph into the uh, Atlanteans, which uh, I don't know. I, 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 I always liked. I thought that was a good touch. I can't remember whether this is timed. Oh, and by the way. Oh, down there. Draw distance is crap, is the gate that we couldn't get for earlier. And. Yep. Secrets 2 or 3. God damn it, apparently I'm not nearly as good at the secrets as I remember. This is the level that I remember most. There's another wolf somewhere. Oh god, there's more wolves. There's like four wolves. Four wolves. She keeps shooting the dead things. I forgot about that. Yeah, Lara, just shoot the dead thing. It's fine. <laughs> we all spoke to Lara back in the day. Belittled her and how crap we were. <laughs> Oh dear, yeah, there's something definitely not right with this emulation. <laughs> oh, I, I'm, I'm, there's a bear around there, I'm pretty sure. I'm running, and if I start shooting, she gets stuck on one course until I stop shooting. The bear's in here. There he is! Go, go, go! Run away, run away, run away, run away! Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it! Sit down! Oh, well, that was, uh, Stupendously easy. Much easier than I remember. I always remember to go and shit and just running and jumping into the water. This level's quite interesting because uh, it's just kind of like a hub area and you go off and or you do different things and you're always coming back to this little area. Interesting. Health pack up here. Yep. Basically, anywhere you get to, can get to, that you generally wouldn't think about going to, you can get stuff. I am desperately trying to remember exactly what we do. I think we always started by going in the water. Yeah, I remember the diving. On oh, this, I remember always drowning. Like over and over and over again. Down here is a secret of some definition. I think you get some magnum clips, which are useless for a good long while. Anything in here? Nope. Uh, yeah, because that is a door. You can always tell doors because <laughs> whereas well, you would stop running into a solid wall, she would keep running into a door. And it would look really out of place like it is. Uh, let's go for a swim. There's underwater levers and all kinds of jazz down here. Yeah, this is where I always drown because I could never remember where to go. There we go. Yeah. No, this is the wrong lever. Oh shit! So it's supposed to be a. Yeah, that opens that, but there's supposed to be a lever that <laughs> opens a thing above you. It's over there. Oh god, I'm going to drown. It's all happening again. I think I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Uh. Yes. Oh, yay, there we go. I'm really wondering why this was so difficult back in the day. Oh, it's only a secret. I genuinely thought this was... Oh, pick up the med pack. Pick it up, thank you. I genuinely thought, genuinely thought this was somewhere I had to go. And that just opens that door. Well, lovely. That didn't help me in any way, shape, or form. Is 
sure you bang your head like that. 1996 for you. Uh, can you sidestep? Ah, damn it, I thought I could sidestep. Yes, you can sidestep. God, it's remembering what you can and can't do. Just fire blindly into the room. I remember this room. I could never figure out what this was for. <laughs> for ages when I couldn't, I was trying to work it out. I was like, what does this do here? I don't know. I remember, because this was the demo level, it was me, my mum, and my mum's boyfriend at the time. And we were all trying to solve this uh, level. And they could, for the life of them, they couldn't do it. Oh, this one, to get that secret over there, you have to... I can never do this. Holy shit, I did it! <laughs> I'm doing this every first time. I have only ever did that, like, once when I was younger. Anyway, this level, for some reason, none of us could figure it out. And bear in mind, I was only, like, seven, eight years old. I I play on it. I figure it out straight away. <laughs> it blew their minds. And now I'm thinking back and I'm thinking, how did it blow their minds? You know, how is this remotely difficult? Perhaps. Ah, oh, shit. Actually, I think it was this simple enough thing. They pulled the block and they didn't realize that they had to push the block all the way through. Actually, does this... Uh this thing is this a pressure block? Nope, that does precisely nothing. <laughs> I've got a little bad friend now. Hello, go away. You're hurting me. They don't do ah uh, shit. They don't do any damage whatsoever, not really. But they just do get a bit annoying. Keep pushing it. And she doesn't just push all the way. She has to stand up and do the slow movement all the time. And oh, hold, right control, and the up arrow. <laughs> just and wait. God, this is tedious. Yeah, Laura thinks so too. I keep going for W W A S D. Right, okay, because you can't get up there by your lonesome, so you need that block to get up there. Uh, there is something. I was stupidly paranoid when I used to play this game. I right, hello. Hmm, interesting artifact. Uh, inventory. Gold Idol. Games don't do that enough. You just open the inventory and it's just like, oh yeah, I've got an inventory. But it actually comes out of a backpack and I, I like it. It's interesting. It's, the games don't do that anymore. No. Jump. Thank you. What's about? What's about? What's about? What's about? Two bats. Die bat. To be fair, the, these levels aren't all that interesting. It's the later levels where it starts to get good, where it start, you get like Egypt and stuff. And uh, the aforementioned Atlantean bits, like the Great Pyramid at the end, that's just really good. Shit! Oh no, I was supposed to do that. It's fine! <laughs> I thought I had to jump over again. Apparently not. Where am I going? This place is like a bloody labyrinth. I think this is the... Yeah, this is where I come in. I go around in circles. Um, kill all the bats.
Oh, this is, oh no, hello. Oh no, you get the idol to get the key. You can't. You haven't. You need a key. So you get the idol to uh, go somewhere where you can get the key. And you go in that room, and then you get some more bullshit. <laughs> I can't be asked to go to that other room. Underwater. No, I've been here as well. How do you know? There's a body. Ah, there's like breadcrumbs. Lower cost equivalent of uh, Hansel and Gretel's breadcrumbs. Bodies. Get boulders in this game as well. It's like Indiana Jones. Yep. <laughs> Even Tomb Raider's not above the jump scares. But I knew that was coming, see? Wait, was there a... Yeah, there was a health pack. Pick it up! Damn it! Thank you. I didn't think it was so hard to pick up a simple med kit. Where am I going? I do not have any clue. I'm just running about. Genuinely no idea where I'm going. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> like I said, labyrinth. Okay, it turns out I was just being a complete numbnuts. <laughs> the key was back in the place with the idol. Idol in that alcove, key in that alcove. I genuinely thought uh, it was dif more difficult than that. I, I was making things more difficult for myself. Get up there, Lars. Yes, I, I never used to call Lara Lars back in the day. The reason I, I'm just automatically doing it now is because uh, we named the cat after Lara Croft. <laughs> yes. The day we went to pick her up, we found her climbing all over uh, the person who she came from the racks like washing racks and naturally we thought oh she's a little Lara Croft and the name just stuck now we call her Lars so uh, health yeah I don't think that was so much difficult as just tedious is why it was I couldn't work it out when I was younger Ah, die! Movement sucks on this game. All the wolves, all the wolves. Yeah, use some acrobatics. Uh, <laughs> I need to make sure I'm looking around just in case I miss any other plot vital or. Oh yeah, gameplay vital kind of things. Oh, what the bloody are we doing now? Going through these white things. Ah, nice safe water to fall in because we're going up. <laughs> Move on the spot, Lara. No, no, no! Oh, fuck! Fuck's sake! Somebody didn't do a very good job at matching up these textures, did they? Yeah, it was just core design back in 1996. This was supposedly a marvel of game innovation. Because, you know, look at the graphics! There's polygons that look marginally human like. I'm not sure I'll go that far, but, you know. Bat, bat. I know there's a bat. Yep, I saw it from downstairs. Is it dead? Yeah. You have to make sure. Yeah, I didn't do that right. You have to make sure you press these things in the right option order, like uh, Alt, then forward. Because if you press forward and then Alt, then you're bone. Because <laughs> goodbye, you've just fallen down into the endless pit. 
Why put the bats there? Was it just to break up the monotony? Because they're no challenge whatsoever. They're not even any kind of a threat. Ah, that's what it did. Probably release some more wolves. Uh, right, yeah, shotgun shells. Uh, let's do some shimmy in action. Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> I remember the first time I did that, I just, uh, just went running off there, da, 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 then didn't have that much health, so naturally I died. Like that! <laughs> oh my goodness. I didn't save it either. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> because I can't be asked to play that again, I think we're going to go to Lara's home for a little bit and I think we're going to call that a day <laughs> ah wonderful stately home with the broken sound effects welcome to my humble abode oh is it the second one where she, where she says welcome to my humble abode I know on one of them there's all kinds of uh, secrets knocking around the house, which is, which is actually really quite fun. Music room. It's now a gym. Nah, I can't be asked. Why am I doing that, she says. Ah, those delivery people. It's probably DPD. <laughs> That is the Ark of the Covenant. <laughs> First time through, I was just like, oh, what the hell? That's a strange looking box. It's the Ark of the Covenant. I want to play that Tomb Raider. <laughs> what did she just borrow it from her friend Indiana Jones? Actually, it's easy to believe that Indiana Jones and Tomb Raider exist in the same universe. Yeah. Like so. I know what you do, Lara. I don't need you to explain every single little thing. Uh, <laughs> just a box full of treasure and gold. Yeah, it's completely believable that they exist in the same universe because uh, Indiana Jones took place in like 1940 something, whereas this is uh, obviously set in the 90s. So. Hmm. That's probably been explored in detail. Look that up if you're interested. <laughs> Yeah, so you've basically just seen all of Lara's house now. Like, say, in the later games, they expand it, put secrets in. Tomb Raider 3, there's actually a, like, maze outside which you have to gain access to, and it's like a little time trial thing, which is pretty cool. And then you go in there, and you're swimming. Yep. And if you jump in, before she finishes saying that, somehow she can speak underwater. Oh, uh. Yes, I'm aware. And that's about everything. She's going to take off the wet clothes and I'm going back to the main menu. <laughs> okay, that was Tomb Raider. It's, uh, it's more infuriating than I remember, but you know, it's all part of the course. It was good fun back in the day. Uh, anyway, check out our website. Uh, rationalgamers.com I forgot the name of the website then check out our other videos and I will not be able to oh yeah because I'm saved okay I'll see you next time <laughs>